Yo, this lens is a beast. Why don't you own one yet? Welcome to the Voice Mag channel. I am Patrick, your personal photo editing guru. This is my first time shooting a video since I've been living out here in sunny California for the past few months. I'm here to review and give you my top five reasons you should own this lens if you're a fashion photographer. This lens should be your walk around lens if you're a fashion photographer. Roll my intro. <laughs> Meet the Sigma Art. I've been a fashion photographer for well over 15 years, and with this lens, I've been able to produce my sharpest images ever. Allow me to share with you my five reasons you should own the Sigma Art lens. First off, let me let you know that I am in no way affiliated with Sigma. I'm just sharing my experience with you. I'm not even using affiliate links, so rest assured, this review and this list is unbiased. The biggest question on the internet right now of concerning these lenses is what is the Sigma art lens? So to give you the short answer, this is Sigma's fine art photography lens. This lens was created to release the artist in you. This lens is made from some of the highest grade glass, metals, and other materials that I have ever seen in a lens. And when you pick this up, you can really feel how sturdy it is. You can identify the Sigma art lenses by the A that's engraved on the side of it. Sigma make these lenses for your Canon, your Nikons, and your Sonys. So you should be able to find one of these lenses no matter what body you're using. Let's get into this list, shall we? So number five on my list is price. Arguably, price can be number one or number five depending on your budget. But for me, this is number five. Now it makes my top five list because the Sigma is priced way more affordably than other premium lenses like the Canon L or Zeiss lenses, but it produces similar results. In my description, I post a link to Jared Poland's comparison. He takes a $950 Sigma art lens and compares it to a $4,000 Zeiss lens. In his video, he'll show you some images from each lens and you can be the judge yourself of which one performs better. Most Sigma art lenses will set you back about $1,000 and some reaching upwards to uh, $1,500. Now, number four on my list is construction. Now, let me start this off by saying that this is a heavy lens. This is a, this is a beast of a lens right here. When you place this on your camera, it's gonna add a significantly more amount of weight to that camera. It's definitely heavier than any of the Canon L lenses that I've handled. With that being said, most people, like my mentor for example, does not like the heavier cameras. So, they may wanna steer clear of the Sigma lens or at least try it out to make sure that the trade-off is worth it to them. Now, for me, I love the heavy weight on my camera. This makes my camera feel like a beast. Because of the weight and the materials used, when you pick up this lens, you can definitely feel how well-crafted it is. According to B&H, the lens is constructed using thermally stable composite, TSC, material, along with traditional metals for greater precision and use in a wide temperature variations. Sigma's website even says that some of these lenses are splash and dust resistant. Now, number three on my list is the ability to make sharp, even sharper. Think about that. The Sigma art lens comes with a hypersonic motor for fast and quiet autofocusing. The sharpness is incredible. Even at wide open apertures, it will give you beautifully sharp subjects with elegantly softened backgrounds. Now, I'm specifically talking about this dock that can be purchased separately. 
This allows you to fine tune your micro focus for more precise sharpness. It allows you to do this from home without having to take it to a camera shop. If you already are a fine art photographer, then you're probably familiar with how important it is to take a new camera lens to your local camera shop and have it accurately calibrated to your camera body. This process ensures that your camera lens produces the highest quality images when paired up with your specific camera configuration. A lot of you may not already know, but when a camera manufacturer produces a camera or a lens manufacturer produces a lens, they're allowed for it to be a little bit out of focus, just a tad. You can adjust this focus for the camera end inside of your camera settings, but for your lens, you have to take it to a camera shop. But if you own a Sigma art lens, you just plug it into this bad boy right here. It will update the firmware built into the lens and allow you to manually adjust the micro focus. You can never get the sharpest image possible unless you tweak those settings within your lens according to your camera body. Number two on my list is that these lenses are highly respectable. These lenses are known worldwide for their quality and sharpness. The Sigma Art 85mm f1.4 has a higher DxO mark score than Zeiss and Canon, outperform many top lenses. As you can see from the list, it is the highest performing or highest scored lens available. The A on the side of this lens is becoming an icon of quality, just like the signature red ring around the Canon L lenses. Now, number one on this list for me is community. Because it's such a high quality lens, usually the photographers who use it have a higher standard of excellence with the photos they create from it. If you use the hashtag SigmaArtLens, you will find thousands of images to help inspire you to create something beautiful. I have to admit, I use this hashtag or I follow this hashtag on Instagram and I am constantly reminded about how powerful this lens is and constantly inspired to get out there and start shooting with it. If you buy one, make sure you join the community and use that hashtag Sigma Art Lens. I wanna check out what you create. If you're still not sure, why don't you go to Borrow Lens's website and rent one. You can rent one for about seven days and that should give you plenty of time to figure out if this lens is the right fit for you. I went to Borrow Lens first and I rented a 24 millimeter. After that, I was sold. I purchased the 18 to 35 and this has been my walk around lens and it's been the only lens I've been using in studio for photo shoots. Now, my next purchase is gonna be that 85 millimeter. If you search around the internet, you'll see that this is the top pick for most professional photographers, for professional fashion photographers as far as a Sigma art lens. That lens, that 85 millimeter, is also the one that got the DxO highest performing lens score. There you have it. I hope this list was helpful. Hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. What do you think about this list though? Why don't you meet me in the comments and let's talk it out. I'll be checking comments, responding to comments in between videos. Don't forget to ask questions or leave recommendations for future videos in the comments. I'll meet you guys there. And until next time, happy shooting.